Hi, John from DG Technologies back for part two of the VSI Next Gen video. We're out here in the parking lot of the world headquarters of DG Technologies in Farmington Hills, Michigan. First of all, what I want to remind you as we take things out of the box, there is a quick start guide. It is quick, so there's only four steps. Please follow the steps. Simple as that. The first step is to plug the USB cord into the VSI Next Gen adapter and plug that into the laptop. Next, plug the vehicle adapter cable into the VSI Next Gen both the adapter cable and the USB cable have thumb screws so it's probably best to make sure these cables are secure in the tool. Keep in mind as, a, as you heard earlier we downloaded the software off the website onto the laptop. This tool plugs uh, powers off of the USB connector as well as the vehicle so you'll see the green power light comes on once we plug into the laptop. Now we're ready to plug into the car. This is a 2013 Ford Fusion that has a check engine light on. Seems to be running a little rough. We'll see what we can find out with our DG Diagnostics OBD2 software application that comes free with the VSI Next Gen tool. Let's step around and plug into the car. Here we are ready to plug into the car. So every car on the road has a diagnostic connector. Well, at least 1996 and newer. Again, this is a 2013 Ford Fusion. We have our VSI Next Gen plugged into the laptop. We have the vehicle adapter cable plugged into the VSI Next Gen. We do have power, so the diagnostic connector is typically under the dash, somewhere from the middle to the left side of the dash. Uh, in here, it's right under here in this car, so we'll plug into there. Got to get the key. Key on engine off. Now we'll start up the DG Diagnostics OBD2 software. You'll see up in the corner of the application that there's a little word called file with a few dots after it uh, and configuration. So the software on this laptop is already configured to communicate with the VSI Next Gen. You could change the tool to a different DG Diagnostics tool if uh, you wanted to. Now, let's try and connect. So we hit the connect button. Version 1.25, detecting OBD2 uh, protocols and requesting supported parameters. Once we hit connect, it's communicating with the vehicle. It's discovered information that it needs. You'll see the green bar down at the bottom of the application uh, shows we're connected to the vehicle. Also, the button says disconnect now instead of connected. There's a lot of different things that you can do with the DG Diagnostics software. We're on the Home tab right now to connect. You can look up DTCs or Diagnostic Trouble Codes. You can look up freeze frame data, different parameters, ECM info. In all of these screens, we'll have a request info button on the bottom too. Monitors, monitor results, console, and you can register your application to keep 
up to date on any new uh, VSI Next Gen or DG Diagnostic OBD2 software information from DG Technologies. You can print a vehicle report on this vehicle to save it in your files for your records or show your customer. You can also access the user manual. So let's go back to diagnostic trouble codes. We have an engine light on, so we're going to read DTCs. Discovery of DTCs complete. So this car was running a little rough. It had cylinder three misfire detected. So what we're gonna do, and that's a P code, so it's a P0303 DTC, Diagnostic Trouble Code. Pretty consistent. Uh, it says it's emissions related. Um, it's got the pending code and the permanent code confirmed. So now that we know it's a P0303 diagnostic trouble code, if you'll remember in part one we went to the www.dgtech.com website under resources and scroll down to common trouble codes. You'll be able to read more about the P0303 cylinder three misfire detected trouble code. What I'm gonna do on this vehicle right now is print a report. I'm gonna name that report into my local hard drive. So we'll say Ford Fusion twenty thirteen. Let's say it's a customer car. So we can go back and get that in our downloads later. What I'm gonna do now is clear this diagnostic trouble code. Positive responses from the ECMs. We hit okay. We just cleared the trouble code. So once we go through a key cycle, it'll clear. If that, of course, if that number three cylinder misfire or something more wrong with the vehicle, then the check engine light will come back on in the car. So that's what you can do with the VSI Next Gen Diagnostic Reprogramming and Pass-Through Device with the free software that uh, DG Technologies offered called DG Diagnostics OBD2 version. Now you have a complete picture of what's going on with the car. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click a like on this video if you learned something new and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn to find out more information about DG Technologies, products, and services. Thanks for watching.